Donald Trump's uh, visit to Ireland is hallmarked, as you might expect, by cynicism. Um, he seems to be here mostly in order to promote his hotel down at Dunbeg. Um, and this is the hotel that rather famously, despite being a uh, major climate change denier, perhaps the leading climate change denier um, himself, uh, that he's applied for planning permission to build a seawall to protect the hotel against rising sea levels. Um, another cynical aspect of the trip is that it's fairly obviously aimed to appeal to Irish American voters and maybe get them some extra votes in 2020. In that context, it's very important that there were significant mobilizations in all Irish cities saying that Trump was not welcome. And in terms of the media, they could only ha find a handful of people willing to act the fool down in Dunbeg uh, to uh, welcome Trump and that terrible point his son poured. Of course, staying in Dunbeg in Clare also has the big advantage that it meant he was nowhere near any of the cities, so he was pretty safe in being sure he wasn't going to be seeing any protests himself, the hotel being surrounded by police and, of course, the American uh, security services that are here. Anyway, last night in Dublin, uh, a few thousand people took the opportunity to take to the streets and say that Trump was not welcome here. And we're looking at footage from the demonstration uh, that shows all those people as they marched off the bottom of O'Connell Street uh, in the rain, unfortunately. They caught a fair bit of rain there at the end. Um, the reasons the organisers uh, gave for organising the march, uh, the reasons to stop Trump, simple enough. He's destroying the planet. He's the world's leading misogynist. He's a racist, Islamophobe and apartheid Israel supporter. He's an imperialist warmonger. He's a vicious transphobe and he represents the 1%. The Dublin protest uh, at the start saw that uh, rather infamous Trump as a baby balloon brought over from London for the occasion. Uh, not a huge fan of that. It tends to depoliticize opposition to him and plays into his own game of presenting it simply as being a question of two teams and picking which side you're on, uh, rather than the absolutely terrible politics he holds. Indeed, a problem with the focus on Trump, as terrible as he is, is that he's also much more of a puppet than a puppet master. Um, the people behind him that actually make the decisions in the Republican Party are the ones who do the real damage. And it's fairly obvious that Trump and his unpopularity uh, will mean that at a certain point he will be ditched. And the danger is that this sole focus on Trump as a terrible person uh, is liable to then defuse opposition. There is also a need to acknowledge that many of Trump's terrible policies were there in weaker forms under the previous administration of Obama. Uh, the increasing hostility to migrants, for instance, and the stepping up of deportations, the creation of ICE, all of those things happened under the Obama administration. Trump, no doubt, is worse. But at the same time, he's part of a trajectory of class rule in the United States that has seen vulnerable groups being targeted. Having him in power at the moment with the looming threat of climate change as the 12 years we were given last year become 11 uh, is obviously a disaster. But at the same time, it's very hard to see how the Democratic Party would actually do anything that was significantly different. Certainly not anything even approaching the scale of massive economic restructuring and collective decision making we need. All of us, all the people on the planet, are facing this incredible challenge over the next year, 11 years, if we want to head off climate catastrophe. Essentially, we need to restructure the entire planetary economy. Capitalism is dependent on growth, and growth is what's in the process of killing us. We need to shift to a society that doesn't depend on growth, and that really means a society that's based on the satisfaction of people's needs and not at all on profits. That's a task for all of us.